Hello and welcome to another episode of Ankle Saw and our preview of round five. If you're not already subscribed and like watching our videos, can you go ahead and hit that subscribe button? Really help us out. So just the two of us today, Vito. Let's rock and roll. Yep, let's get into it. So we started on Thursday night, the first game of the round at the MCG, Melbourne 8 12 60, Brisbane 12 10 80. Two. 82. You're right. Don't it's know. been a long day. When it comes to numbers. I know. I know. We're going to test you one day. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, Take right. it. Bring it on. Um, thoughts on that? Oh, I said <laughs> Melbourne's three games in 13 days. You're saying you don't buy it, but you've got to. It's two games in Adelaide, and then they come to the G. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. They did stay in Adelaide, though. So they did. So it sort of doesn't count. But it's away from home. Pretty good. good. I'm not holding. Yeah. I'm not going to take that away from them. But... I just thought Melbourne were flat from the get-go. They were very flat. That's what I mean. I just thought maybe fatigue's got them. But I said this to someone else. Brisbane's pressure was relentless. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Cam Rayner stood up for the first time in a long time. Mate, I thought your dog was relentless. But Brisbane's <laughs> pressure was relentless. relentless. I know, I know. It's funny because l- last week's episode, you uh, you wouldn't even speak. You said, what's the point, Melbourne win? I did. I actually oh, I thought Melbourne comfortably. Actually, I thought that would be the score. The other way the around. The other way around, yeah. We're all rrr, rrr, rrr. Yeah, yeah, Fonzie, we're all rrr. Ralph, I was in. <laughs> but yeah. I just, um, I, just quickly on that, I, I think Brisbane outsmarted them too. Yeah, they, they made. They tried they to make sure, when they were kicking it down forward, they, I mean, and it's not as easy as it sounds, no. trying to keep it away from main lever. Oh, that's hard, hard it to is. ask. Yeah. It is, but I think they, they got it right in that regard. Do you reckon Melbourne... Because they haven't really beaten anyone. Do you reckon they're in a bit of trouble? Do you reckon it was just they were just papering over the cracks? Nah, not round five. No? You know, if it's round 10 and this is happening, okay. I'll go to you. They're in a bit of trouble. But there's 18, what, 18, 19 rounds of football. Nah, fair it's point, a long, long season. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, let's move on to Friday night, Marvel Stadium. We had the Western Bulldogs, 9-13-67. And Essendon, 15-6-96. Great kicking. Unbelievable kicking. And I called it. You did call it. I said, Essen win this game, you boys. Blah, blah. And then you sort of started to think, oh, okay, fair, fair point. Oh, no. I, I said, I can see how you, how you think they can win. Like, mm. I can see the argument, you know. It's not like it was a foregone conclusion. Disappointing in the Bulldogs. Uh, he's, dare I say, he's got to go. What, beverage? Oh, he, he's he, got to he's go. An her- and I'm not having a go at him. I'm not actually saying he's a no good of a coach or he's crap. It's not that. No, he's just going to leave the Bulldogs. Run his race. Yeah, yeah. He's run his race. And they've run their race with him, I think. A hundred percent. Mate, he, how does Caleb Daniel not get a game? Okay, he's not the greatest player, but how does he not get yeah, a no, game? Yeah, he's, he's, no, right? he's smart. How does Bailey Dale be a sub when you've got Oscar Baker and... You know, uh, the guy they got from Hawthorne, what's his name? Yeah, Bramble. 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 I mean, they're okay players, but we're talking about an All-Australian here. Bailey does good football, smart football. But I, I, I just, also, Jamara, I know everyone goes bananas. And don't get me wrong, mate. Star. He's got great hands. He can't kick, mate. Yeah, he's not a great kick, but, but Buddy wasn't a great kick either. Oh, early days. Oh, right. No, actually, he was good early days. Later on, he wasn't so good. So I don't mate, know. they've got problems. So what, did they, what did they kick? 9-13. Yeah. Okay. Can't kick Jamara. He's another one. Who's another one that can't? Who's the most obvious? Oh, Aaron Norton. Norton. He can't kick. Right? Horrendous kick. Yeah. He, he, oh, so I agree. I agree. You with got you. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, in the middle, they matched Liver and Bont, even though they were okay. Yeah. But I, I thought, um, what's his name? Bont was okay, but he, he got beaten by um, what's his name? Uh, Merritt. D- Durham. 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 Yeah, he, was, he was close to best on ground. Yeah. Durham. So, but Bob's okay, but Durham, like, he wasn't nowhere near as effective. So, so do you reckon this is a one off for Essendon? Because they do this a lot. They and win I'll, a big game. And, yeah, you know. How I many times have I said this now? Yeah. This week, they need to go to Adelaide and win. Yeah. Not get within a goal. Yeah. yeah you yeah, need no. to beat Adelaide. A, a and win then, or nothing. And then yeah. you've got to start looking at Essendon and going, okay, are they taking that next step? And are they going to make, you know, they're going to make finals? Mm, mm. Because they haven't won a final. We all know that story. Yeah, for 20 years. Whatever or so, it is. Yeah, yeah. So, I can't answer you, but I, I, yeah. I actually okay, said they're going enough. to beat the dogs. But what do you think? I'm not sure. The jury's out. The next two weeks will tell. I, I, I think the dogs are in trouble. I think so too, but that's another story altogether. We can go on for hours. But anyway, True. Let's move on to the next game. Saturday, Monica Honey Oval. Oval. <laughs> Monica Oval. GWS 11-14-80. Defeat St. Kilda 12-7-79. In your lives, GWS, you cost me. Ah, uh, yeah. You can't say that. Mucking around, no, no. Mucking, all due respect, mucking around with it. 
going through the motions because of what, six goals up, whatever they were? Seven, was it more? Yeah, they were 35 at one point. Something like that, right? Mucking around with it. But you right against it. Against the, you get St. Kilda down, Pat. You always do uh, they'll, they'll 15 back. And then when the game's gone, they'll yeah. play to win. They'll I play to you. score. Because it doesn't matter now. Like, we, uh, okay, that didn't work. Let's try and win. And they still lost. Like, but, the worst part is he'll sell it to them saying, oh, this is the way. Boys were one point away. He's destroying that club. He's oh, destroying the club. You don't have to tell me. Club. Wait, I sat here and watched it. And I was Horrendous. Falling. I fell asleep you, in the last quarter. Yeah, he actually did. He actually did have to wake him up. God, what is this? Well, the last five minutes you watch because... Are they the... W- nah, they're officially the worst. Yeah, they're the worst team to watch. I mean, yeah. we're the worst as in... But they're the worst to watch. So let's not waste any time on St. Kilda anymore. I'm sick of talking But about GWS, what did you think? Just going through the motions. But Got the win, that's it. We've been stupid nearly lost yeah, the they game. Yeah, weren't, they weren't great. No. They weren't great. But anyway. Ah, uh, dear. Let's move on to... <laughs> <laughs> Marvel Stadium, Twilight, Carlton. 14-14-98. We're defeated by Adelaide 16-4-100. Carlton. Carlton. Exactly. Now, go and watch Club Corner, all right? I'll leave it up there, the Carlton Club Corner I did yesterday, and you'll see the reasons why. But what did you think as a, as a neutral? Uh, I was staggered. I said to you all day, you're going, oh, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. But I did tell you this is a danger game. Okay. Same uh, thing happened last enough. year. And, and give them 16-4. They, they won't do that all year. Irrelevant. No, no, I know. It's four points away from Carlton. They've got to win the Adelaide. I oh, know, because 28 shots to 20, Carlton. Mm. And they squandered some easy chances. They did. They did. Oh, one thing I'll say about Carlton, you might agree. Kearney has a gun, and you know what I think of him. Yeah. Stop reading your own publicity, buddy. <laughs> you reckon he picks up the Herald Sun? Yeah, and goes, oh, fuck, I'm doing all right. <laughs> No, I don't mean it like that. I reckon he just thinks he's turn up and I'll kick five. It doesn't work like that. And I think some of those other blokes there are already thinking about, well, we're going to be top four. I don't know. I just I see a little yeah. bit of cockiness. Same thing happened last year. I see a little bit of cockiness, and you've oh. got to take that right out right now. I don't like it. I'd be making eight changes this week if I was Carlton, but anyway. Um, You know, just quickly, you know, you talk about bottom tiers, you always of the world. Um, Down back, oh, pit in, there, in the ruck. Watch Club Corner, trust me. I don't know if there's any more else to say on that. No, there's not. He should have gone. They should have gone just with what's his name? Who's your ruck with the conning? Yeah, that was enough. He's more than capable against enough. Riley and I'm sure O'Brien. there would have been someone else in that side in that seconds, or you know, they could have came in as a Harry O'Brien. Uh, Harry, Harry, Harry O'Brien, O'Brien, one of the worst I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, Harry Mackay plays in the ruck sometimes. Yeah, you've also got Cripps that occasionally does. Ruck. Who could you have brought in though? Like there anyone? Plenty. It doesn't matter. But you bring in Fachera, who was a late withdrawal we're talking about. You don't bring in a, a slow ruckman. Oh, I was staggered when I saw both of them. I They're thought... not playing Max Gone. Come on. Oh, I couldn't they believe were it. Very disappointing. Hmm. So the next game, Saturday night at People's First Stadium, it was Gold Coast 16 13 109, defeating Hawthorne 8 8 56. The only thing to say about this is um, for Hawthorne, their tagger. Yeah, what's his name? McGuinness. McGuinness kicked three goals. Three out of the eight. Who else kicked their goals in? Oh, I don't even know. Yeah. I hardly watch this game. I'll be honest. Didn't really watch it. Please don't tell me you're sucked in by Gold Coast, though. No, I'm not. Because that... I'm not. It's the bottom side. They're, 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 they're just two, as bad as another side. Yeah, they're, they're two bottom sides, right? Nah, they're not sucked in by Gold Coast. Like, they're going okay, but they do it every year. It, it doesn't matter what they've got, what they haven't got. Although, Harwick's a different kettle of fish. He, he could actually... But how long Propel them to finals. He could. I'm not but, saying they will. Okay. He could. Yeah, he could. But will it last? This is the thing. We won't know until round 14, 15. What do you think of Hawthorne? You saying they improved in that don't improve in that? Yeah, I, I don't, don't know. know. I, I think they're a bit of a mess too. But they got a lot out. Mitch yeah, Lawless is a loss. Who else is out for him? Uh, There's quite a few there. What's his name? G is still out. I don't well, Will Day won their best and fairest last year. He's out. You've got to it's, take that yeah. into consideration. I, I understand. When they're a growing side, if you know I what I was going to say, for a bad team, you need all your good players playing. I'd say they're a bad struggle. team. I just think they'd... Well, they're know. bottom four. They were bottom four last year. They'll be bottom four yeah. again this year. You need your best but players But I'm not sucked in by a goal case, not yet. No, nor am I. Nor am I. Let's move on to the other game that was on at 7.30 also. That's good the AFL mm, to put fantastic. two games on at the same time. Fantastic. And it was uh, Adelaide Oval at 7.30. Port Adelaide 9.12.66, defeating Fremantle 9.9.63. 129 points. Mm. Port usually kicked nearly on their own. Yeah, I, I agree. Fremantle. But why, that, why is it like that? Oh, because Fremantle. Because they're a shocking team to watch. And you're going nowhere. You're going nowhere, Fremantle. St. Kilda and Fremantle, kick them out. 
Kick him out of the competition. I'm sick of him. Who coached both of them? Yeah, Ross coached them both. There's still there's still remnants. Oh, remnants. And Longmuir's got sucked in. Oh, yeah, I it's like good style. Yeah, I like it. It's great. Yeah. Saying that though, Port, stop being idiots. That's okay, but they still won the game. At the end of the day, hey, they won the game. At one stage, Fremantle had them on the ropes and couldn't finish it. Oh, why do these teams get sucked in? Why oh. do they let them have 80 marks? That's what it is. Oh, I, I and that's what happens. It. So what happens is they're, they're not playing their style. Port Adelaide's, mate, 100 miles an hour. Exactly. So all of a sudden, Fremantle's gone, no, no, that's not yeah, going to happen here. What happens? They get frustrated. Yeah. They took Horn Francis. Oh, he's a star. He's a star, isn't he? Took, take a, took a beautiful mark to finish yeah, yeah, him off. Yeah. Or else they lose. Yeah, oh, you're probably right there, Vito. But I'm um, disappointed with Fremantle and St. Kilda. I hate the way they play. I hate I it. I agree totally. Let's move on to Sunday. G. Yeah. Just nervous. yourself. Yeah. Nervous? Okay. Sunday in GMHBA Stadium at 1 p.m., Geelong 21 13, 139, defeated North Melbourne 10 4 64. Vito. I'll say one thing, right? Geelong smashed a lot of sides there. Granted, yep. granted. Yep. But once again, I'm sick and tired of 15 minutes into the first quarter and it's done. I can't fathom it. Although, it was four goals to three, but you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. 10 minutes into the second quarter, they kick three goals. See you later. I was going to say, I think North, it could have got away from. It was four goals, three goals to nothing. Yeah, four then it was goals four to goals to Yeah, three. so they did well to fight back. They just can't sustain it. Okay. No, no I'm not I'm not yeah. defending them. They just can't sustain it. Are they the worst side in the AFL today? <sighs> They're in contention. Let's just say that. They're not worse than West Coast? Uh, not yeah. sure. Not sure. They won't beat West Coast. You, you know, when I watch North Melbourne, I, when when they try and score... I know what they're trying to do, but it's a struggle, right? Because they can't do it. Because Geelong didn't struggle. Okay, they're playing North Melbourne, but they just you don't have to have a perfect play every time you score. No, do you no, know what I mean? I know. And North look like they play that yeah. way. Yeah, they're trying to make it. You like, know, it's got to be a beautiful play. It doesn't. Sometimes work Sometimes like you've got that. to kick it long to your forward, let it bounce. Let I agree. It... I don't mean scrappy, but no, do you I know, know what I mean? Like it always. It seems to me North. It's been handball do... over top, handball over top, run it in. It's got to be the perfect. It's play. not going to happen, mate. And it doesn't work. Collingwood don't even do that. No one does. Right? No one does. It's very rare that you. A couple of things I'm going to say. Yep. Comden, Big and Ewan. Fantastic. Positive. Yeah, yeah. Very I'd good. play them this week. And actually, as much as I think we can't beat Hawthorne, them two down back gives North a bit of hope. Comden cemented his place. He's yeah. had two great Big weeks. Big and has been. Yeah, no, nah, but he's, it's his yeah. first game. But what I'm, what I'm saying is, those two back give, gives me like, oh, Chance, chance, maybe. Yeah, there's a chance. 5%. Hawthorne right? weren't exactly... No. set the world alight. So, out. in the middle, you know, you got George. I thought he had a good game. She... Oh, she's... A, she's a, a, a delight to watch. Delight. Is he just he's, a beautiful footballer? He is. I told you, there's three playing now. And I forgot to mention Isaac Rankin in the Adelaide game. He was sensational. Oh. But Sheezel, Rankin, and Shy Bolton, I love watching them play. They're my... Th- Three okay. favourite players running around these days. So you tell me, LDU, Luke Davies Uniac. I thought he had an okay game. I, I didn't think he was bad. I didn't think he was great. I thought he was okay. Has he gone backwards a bit? No, I think. I think was because Simpkins gone back and not even playing midfield. I think a lot's on his shoulders and the kids. You're talking about George Wardlaw and yeah. and Colby McKercher. I'm not bagging you, but eat some McDonald's, mate. You're built like a Twig. That hit to her, yeah. ribs, was, there's nothing in it. Right? I know, it's because he's so thin. Go and have a good Macca's. hearty meal, mate. Uh. Well, anyway, oh, look, that, that's, that's my take on it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So let's move on to the last game of the round. And it was at Upter Stadium at 4 p.m. West Coast, 16 13, 109, defeat Richmond 10 10 70. Finally got their first win. In the and did season. I tell you? You did. And you laughed when it was four goals to dip your game, you, you mental. You did. You did, but... <sighs> now decimated Richmond, no doubt. Yeah, dec- decimated. De- even during the game, short went out. Did he go as well? I didn't like yeah, the first, first quarter he went off injured. Oh, no. Nah, how can you win a game? You can't. You can't. And I'm not going to I'm not gonna rate West Coast on that. No. I mean, look, they play Good at on home. Them. Yeah, they, when was the last time West Coast kicked 100? No, a long time ago. You still got to win games. You still got to play well. You still got to win games, kick a score. So, Mate, good luck to him. Hardly Reed. Matt Newey was still playing when they kicked 100. Probably. Harley Reid was sensational. Oh, he's a, yeah, he's a beast. He's a special player, isn't he? Yeah, he's a beast. Uh, Waterman kicked six. That was interesting. But they can't... 
Richmond are when I say a mess, and I'm saying a mess because they got that many yeah. out. Yeah, how, how long can you shuffle them? No, no, it's it's tough. It's tough. How long can you shuffle it for? You know, no, they, be, and they've been good. They've been, you know, up until this round, they've been pretty good. It's going to come a time we go. How much more can we? What can we do now? No, that's it. I mean, they've got to start scraping the bottom. Yeah, yeah, you can um, only play so much. Yeah, but, but West Coast, you know what? There was a bit of improvement not, in the yeah, way they played. There was. Let's there see was. how far. Let's see. Yeah, let's when see they play week. a side with with more substance. Yeah, exactly. Well, there you have it, a review of round five in the books. Let us know in the comments what you thought of the round, and we'll see you on the next one.